Hey, Rainer. You don't know how glad I am to see a friendly face. You probably won't believe this, uh. but Kirith and I are in trouble. Again. We could really use your help. Won't believe this. I... I... Trust me, I believe it. So, what's what's happened now? An unpleasant ship captain dropped us off without so much as a by your leave. He was supposed to take us to Hammerfell to explore a dwarven ruin. We're scholars of some renown, you know. No. Although my sister prefers the term Dungeon Delvers. Okay, Dungeon Dwellers is a copyrighted guild, and you can't just use that name whenever you want to. Okay, just blink at me. Well, why did he honor your agreement? I'm not sure. The language of the sea confuses me. We just need get to the fuck off our ship. Sentiment. Is that what he used? But that disagreeable captain took the last of our gold. We want to work, but no one will hire us. Perhaps you could serve as our agent in this matter. All right, let's see if we can find some honest work in this matter here. Sir, the language of the sea. Get the fuck off my ship. That's pretty standard language. Ah, oh, finally a turn of good fortune. You have a knack for arriving at just the right moment. You'll have no problem convincing these clods to hire us forthwith. Honestly, I'm extremely overqualified, but I'll take whatever employment you can secure. For born for Hammerfell, how'd you end up in Anvil? Hammerfell? Anvil? Why does everything in this part of the world sound like it belongs in a smithy? <laughs> Look, it was an honest mistake on my part. The captain claimed to be a proper sailor, and I took him at his word. So, the ship captain sailed with you to the wrong port. I'm an artificer. If you ask me to recalibrate a dwarven power core, I'll ask you to what voltage. But determining where the captain made an error in his navigational calculations? You might as well ask me to charm the wings off a harpy. And you didn't stop over anywhere to ask for directions either. That's why your sister over here is all pissed off at you right now, huh? Well, I could charter a ship for you. We're dungeon delvers, not paupers. Kirith and I won't accept charity, no matter how you present it to us. We'll earn our own way. Just find someone who's willing to hire us, and let us do some honest work. Well, any idea who might be interested in hiring you? My letter of introduction opens doors throughout Morrowind. But in this isolated hamlet... Isolated. I inquired with a blacksmith, but he wanted brawn, not brains. There was also the angler, but we were unable to agree on terms. Must be somebody who wants you. You'd think so, wouldn't you? No. The Anvil Repository has a reputation for serving its clients. Poorly. I offered my skills as a bookkeeper, but the proprietor rejected me. If she reconsiders, I'd make a valuable addition to her team. Okay, let's talk to Kiridith. I usually see the tomb as half full, but even I was about to give up hope before you showed up. If you can help us raise the gold we need to leave this wretched city, we'd really appreciate it. So how'd you end up here anyways? Now that's a tale to make the brave little scrib cry. Raynor insists that the captain made a mistake, but I saw the contract they signed before we were marooned here. My brother chartered a ship to Anvil, not Sentinel. This is all his fault. Fucking kick his ass. He mixed up the names. Anvil, Hammerfell, they sound all the same to my brother. After we'd set sail, he said he couldn't wait to see the Towers of Anvil. I reminded him we were sailing to Sentinel. So he ran to see the captain, but it was too late. <laughs> so, why were you going to Hammerfell for? We had a line on a new dwarven ruin. Well, not new. Newly discovered? Anyway, it's near Tava's Blessing, and it's entirely fresh and unexplored. If me and Raynor can get there before the grave robbers, imagine the amazing things that we'll find. So you want Dwarven rel relics, huh? What? No! We're dungeon delvers, not tomb raiders. My brother has a deep and abiding respect for the dwarves. He breaks all He's their shit. He's obsessed with learning everything he can about their ancient technology. Me? I just love to explore old places. It's my calling. Well, any suggestions who might be willing to hire you? I tried to handle a shift at the local tavern, but the customers couldn't keep their sweaty paws to themselves. You can't you blame, blame me for breaking a few fingers. They yes, weren't touching my body after all. <laughs> That's when the innkeeper's wife fired me. 
Well, it must be something you'd like to do. I thought about helping the rowdy Gua, but the ship's captain is a cheat. What I really want to do is sing. I've serenaded in taverns from Deshan to Eastmarch. I even received a standing ovation in Orsinium. Unfortunately, Anvil has no taste. Uh, I'll see what we can find you, man. Um, you might use Energy Guardian for the resources. If you want, but the resources, you, you research generation, you usually pretty good on a Sork. Okay, so who's gonna hire these people? Greetings. Sorry, between my brother's problems with the forge and that load of ingots that the puny dark elf dropped on the docks, I am way too busy to talk right now. Puny? Yes, that was the dark elf's name. I gave him a fair chance, but I don't think he ever lifted anything heavier than a book in his entire life. We had to let him go. With the forge as it is, my brother can't pay a worker who can't do the job. Well, you know he tinkers with things? If the Dark Elf can improve the forge, that would be a big help. But we still need those ingots. They were stolen after he abandoned the crate. The thieves use a dock outside the city. Get the ingots back, and I'll give Raynor another chance. I'll inquire someplace else. That sounds like work on my part. Let's go and inquire the tavern of what happened. Hello there. Welcome to the finest tavern on the Gold Coast. We know how to show a visitor a good time. You can bet your boat on that. Well, do you need some help around here? Maybe a barmaid? If you're talking about that dark elf, she's a terrible serving wench. Sailors with broken fingers wench. can't raise mugs, and sailors without mugs can't drink. Any barmaid who can't handle a little friendly attention has no place in my establishment. Is there any way we can convince you to give her another chance? You'd have to compensate me for the lost business. How about this? I'm out of the petals I use to create an expensive drink for my more affluent customers. Bring me a weird blossom from the Garlas Malatar ruins, and I'll give Kirith another chance. I'll try someplace else. Ooh, hello. What a disaster. That bard gets in one scrap with a dark elf, and suddenly he can't play tonight's show. She strained his finger. What does that even mean? Sorry, I'm rambling. The crowd gets rowdy when there's no music to listen to while they drink. And I'll tell to Dark Elf that I could love to see new customers. Ha! The Dark Elf last? It just about split my gut when I heard her yowling. Sounded like someone stuck a fork in a bantam guar and twisted it to the right. <laughs> if that's what they call singing in Morrowind, I really need to pay them a visit. I think I might do this one, but I want to see what the other ones are talking about here. Why are at the docks? An entire day's catch lost to the hungry sea. So many wasted fish. Job punishes me for expecting a spoiled dark elf to perform the work of an honest Khajiit. An honest Khajiit. You know the big brained dark elf with claws as dull as dirt? The one whose idea of mending a net is to tie a knot and hope for the best? If you seek payment, you will find only disappointment. Raynor is no angler. He is a liar and a cheat. If I can compensate you for the work uh, and throw some extra, can you hire him to pay him off his work again? <laughs> so I'm paying him to make him a worker. See what they have more over here for work. Hello. Hello.
Hello. You look strong and sober. Want a job? The rowdy Gua skirted a hurricane off Kanathi's roost. Oddest thing. Just came out of nowhere and we took some damage. I need someone who can hold a board and hammer a nail. Preferably at the same time. Hmm. I know a dark elf carpenter. Really? Uh, wait a moment. You're talking about Kirith, aren't you? She's the worst carpenter to ever have to hammer, and that includes the drunk ones. I had to pay someone to fix what she repaired. She did more damage to my ship than the storm. I'll pay you to hire her with the item worth <laughs> No. We're paying somebody to hire somebody. That doesn't make I'm any exactly sense. Known for my Let's see what the banks want here. Do, 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 do. Must be upstairs. Hello? Oh, Izmir's beard. Those vile rumors will be the death of us. Don't the pirates know it takes constant attention to detail to keep a bank running smoothly? Have we trouble with your books? If you're talking about that Skiva Raynor, then you can turn around and march right out of my office. That skinny dark elf had the audacity to tell me that my accounts weren't in order. I've seriously injured bigger men for lesser slights. She can intimidate her for I be carefully say about my friend. Eh, we'll acquire elsewhere. I think I seriously want to listen to uh, Kirith freaking sing at the bar. I don't seem to be making much progress. You don't say. I think I've been swooping that lone area. Oh, I think I missed one here at the. Yeah, there's two here. So I tossed the one outside. Don't look away. Well, there's one inside here. Up in Smith. No. Yeah, there's definitely two here. There's one there. Yeah, there just seems to be two at, two things on there. Inquire at the blacksmith and Merta. Hello. Arda is one. Greetings. Blacksmith is the other. They complain about the heat of my. Nah, don't worry about it too much. I don't see the way that they just don't work for the Mage's Guild, but okay. Let me try this. What it is? Ha! The Dark Elf last. Just about split my if you sing her, her uh, yowling. Yep. It sounded like someone stuck a fork in a bantam guar and twisted it to the right. <laughs> if that's what they call singing in Morrowind, I really need to pay them a visit. If her singing is that amusing, just tell the audience she's a comedian. Interesting notion. We've had our share of bards and jesters, but never a jester who sings. At least the crowd will enjoy looking at her. Who knows? They might even like her act. Send Kirith over. I'll pay her well for an evening's entertainment. Excellent. Let's send her over now. <laughs> A dark elf comedian. Why, why, why do we think that's ended in, like, horrible... Okay, I gotta get them both jobs. So, yeah, let's go over to uh, the bank and get Intimidate. My temper is short and my blade is long. So watch it. <laughs> All right. Oh, Izmir's beard. If you're talking about that... Ha! You've got mead in your blood, that's for sure. So you vouch for this little snowback? 
You really think he can make sense of this tangled mess? Yep. All right. What do I have to lose? The Dark Elf's got a job. My books can't possibly get any worse. I'll send Rainer over. Mm -hmm. Even myself busy here. Too bad I can't set them to work in the same area. You took your time. I was starting to get worried. But tell me, were you successful? Have you secured gainful employment for Kirith and myself? Find you both jobs, you can start immediately. Immediately? That seems rather sudden. Do you want to take a nap? Very well. Kirith, did you hear? We can earn enough gold to continue our journey. It just required someone these depraved pirates could understand. Oh, I, I don't mean to imply that you're depraved, my friend. Oh, no, 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 totally depraved. That's fine, that's fine. Um, so talk to Ferdunda, she wants you to balance the accounts. Not the most exciting use of my talents. But tallying numbers beats hauling a load of metal ingots any day. Thank you for convincing the usurer to hire me. Even a single entry in the wrong column can spell disaster for a financial institution. She can't wait for you to steal our money. I'm blaming on you. Kirith, guess what we got for you. All right. I'm ready to hear the news now. What kind of job did you sign me up for? Bodyguard? Spy for the pact? Private chef for a visiting dignitary? Tell me, tell me, tell me! You're gonna be singing. That's wonderful news! Those drunken pirates are in for a treat. Thank you for negotiating an excellent deal. Now, what should I sing? Something from the tribunal soliloquies? Maybe one of those Sujama drinking songs? So many choices. They're gonna love you. You did more for us than anyone in this wretched city. Raynor and I will do our jobs and complete our contracts. Then it's off to Hammerfell. There are ruins to explore, adventures to partake in. I'm all tingly with anticipation. Oh, yes, I'm all tingly, too. Just to watch you up there, singing, pissing off all those pirates. So what do we get from this? Sithis Ring. Eh, not bad, I guess. Just a few more days of honest work and we're off to Sentinel. My sister and I really do appreciate everything you've done for us. And, I suppose, we've been stuck in worse places than Anvil. <laughs> a little work, a little gold, and we'll be in Sentinel in no time, thanks to you. Mm-hmm. Let's go over and see if they actually show up when we go into the new areas. Take a look in here. What do you want? So how's she working out? These pirates can get kind of wild when they poured a few drinks down their gullets. That's why I love this place. Mm-hmm. Oh, you just missed it. My rendition of rememberings from the dark elf musical Guaz brought the house down. It's a sad, touching number with a few light moments, but I've never seen a crowd laugh so hard. I guess I really nailed the high notes. The musical Guaz. So, how did Finding a Bartholomew turn out? I wrote a book about the ruins, and Raynor was able to make improvements to his control rod thingamabob, but we decided to pass on both the Academy and the Major Guild. We learned that an independent life of adventure suits us just fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just missed it! My rendition of hey, Remembrance from memory orb. the Dark... A little. I'm not having any better luck with my new journal, though. 
The pages keep falling out. Raynor says I'm too hard on my books, but it has to be shoddy construction. They just don't make bindings like they used to. It's kind of disgraceful. Hmm. Oh, you just missed it. My you and me both. I'm all for exploring new places, but that place was just wrong. I just wish everyone had made it back from that damn place. I miss King Dinar and poor Darian. He was kind of a flirt, but he had a hero's heart. Aw, I hope he never returns. Hello. Right now I'm just gilding my um guiding my build from Deltia's frag out. Eh. Just be careful with that some of those some of those builds are not really made for the current for the current system and a lot of them are also kind of eh. What did a dark elf comedian just joke about the Argonians and shit? Hello there. I think the, I think it, I think even the dark elves are too pompous and like full of themselves to even joke about dark Argonians. Let's take a look at my pods right here. Hello there. Where is Rainer? That's a fine weapon you've got there. Just between us, the bank ledgers are a total mess. Poorly organized, missing entries, handwriting I can't decipher. It makes me itchy just thinking about it. It's good you convinced them to hire me. I'll have these accounts balanced in no time. So, let's talk about your past here. Oh, definitely. Once word that I perfected a working control rod started to spread, we began to receive offers from across the land. That's why we're going to Sentinel. A patron offered to fund our exploration of a newly discovered Dwemer ruin. Hmm. Just between... Oh, you know how it is with discoveries such as these. It takes a lot of effort to produce any meaningful results. And Kirith usually leaves that kind of work to me. Information or help you? I guess you could say that. It showed them that we do have a few skills when it comes to dungeons and delving. Still, we decided to retain our independence. We've taken on a contract or two for the Mages Guild, but we aren't under their thumb. Mm-hmm. Just between us, Orsinium was an interesting city with a great museum. But it was time for us to move on. I know King Kurog did some terrible things, but it didn't feel right sticking around after he died. We were there at his invitation, after all. And that's what happens to these two little dark elves in this DLC.